Our guest in the studio today needs no introduction. Yet just a year ago, apart from family and friends, and remarkably of some people on the wrong side of the law, he was largely unknown. Yet he went on to beat the most seasoned campaigner and politician in recent times. Today I want to welcome to the studio Northland's MP, Matt King. Matt King, welcome. Thanks Mike, it's great to be here. First can I start by thanking you for coming in, taking the time. I know it's a busy day for you with the field days. And also thank you to the party for allowing us the opportunity to have a chat with you. Firstly, I want to take you back to that election night in September. Uh, you watched the results come in. It was a fairly substantial, well it was a substantial win in the end. Um, what were your immediate feelings about that, that night? Relief, elation um, and a real, I guess a really strong feeling of support from the community that I had managed to get people to back me and believe in me and uh, and I, I have a lot of people to thank for that. The voters of Northland have really put me where I am and I I will forever be grateful for that. Elected in September, and that's now seven months in Parliament. Any surprises for you when you arrived there? Not really. It's 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 as I imagined. It's it's very rewarding, very challenging time. Um, I've been been amazed at the amount of support that I've got from MPs, fellow MPs, and and other colleagues as well across the floor, and um, some of the people that are employed within the parliamentary services. It's been it's been really welcoming, um, but it's a, been a real huge learning experience for me, and, and I'm only at the first stage of that learning experience. So, yeah, a long way to go. Matt, I want to turn now to Northland itself, the electorate. What do you see as the main challenges and issues for the North? The main uh, factors in Northland are a lack of good infrastructure, mainly roading, um, cellular networks, um, broadband and crime and as, as a region uh, we, we, we've had a lot of good news stories happening in the north, a lot of potential and a lot of that potential is being realised. I mean we're, we're growing, uh, more, more houses being built, more um, infrastructure being built, more people being employed than ever before and I really want to keep that forward momentum going. I want to keep north and front and centre um, in the eyes of the power brokers in Wellington and uh, it's a big job but I'm, I'm prepared to do that. I think we have a really bright future. We had we started our own regional development fund. The uh, current government have taken that on and uh, taken credit for it themselves. But we already already started that. That was to build infrastructure in the north. Um, so I just want to keep the current government on the same path that we were on, which is uh, growth and prosperity for Northlanders. There is, of course, a localised issue here in Kuiper, and that concerns the uh, proposed chicken farm at Arapahui. Um, what's your view on that? Have, have you got a stance on that in, in terms of the uh, electorate's representative? Yes, it was brought to my attention by very concerned locals, um, mainly around the environmental concerns. It's a huge uh, potential development for the Kaipara and if handled properly and addressing the environmental concerns, I, I would be supportive of it. The jobs, the income, uh, the general prosperity that it will bring, I support, but not at the expense of the environment. So we need to, we need to, I'm going to get together the community and I'm going to invite the stakeholders and the, t uh, the company that are proposing this development to come to Dargaville and I want everyone to come along and address these, um, well address their questions and concerns to the, the, the uh, the investors and the business that's coming up and hopefully they will be satisfied with the answers. Matt, earlier when I was asking you about the issues that uh, were facing Northland, you mentioned crime and I mentioned earlier that you had some association with those on the other side of the law. Of course I was referring to the fact that you're a former policeman um, and a detective, fraud investigator and, uh, and a farmer. Um, what I've those skill sets. What have you? What have those have you been able to bring to Parliament? Discipline um, from my policing days and farming days. Discipline and um, hard work ethic, ability to do the long hours. But I would say the, the my biggest uh, skill or my strongest area is my family background and my family support. 
and uh, and that's where my focus is is having a region where all of our children can grow up, get educated, raise a family, and have a career in Northland in a safe and loving environment. You're still a farmer. Yes. And of course, as I mentioned earlier, you've just come back from opening the Dargaville Field Days. Um, what did the field days tell you about the health of farming in Northland? Generally very positive. Um, we've had reasonably good prices for our products. We've, the weather's been relatively stable. Um, our dollar's at a good position for, the, for our export earnings. So overall, uh, things are reasonably positive for farming and uh, long may it continue. I know you uh, would predict that this question would come up, but I've got to ask it. Of course, a new leader for the National Party in Parliament, Simon Bridges. Yes. Your thoughts? Well, we've, we've been lucky in National to have a, lo a, lo a strong, stable uh, leadership for over a decade now. Um, and we're known for our stability and we're known for our, our uh, discipline. And I'm very positive about the new leader and I think we, we should support him. He's a good man, he's an intelligent man, he's a motivated individual. And together with um, the deputy uh, leader, Paula Bennett, they make a great team. Um, I'm optimistic about um, our future and I'm looking towards 2020 and a win in 2020. And any final words for the people of Northland? I, I'm very positive about our future prospects. I think that we've uh, had a number of challenges um, in Northland over the years. I think that the, the worm's turning. I think that we've got a lot of good things happening in our future and I think that Northerners overall um, should be positive about our future and our outlook. Matt King, again, I want to thank you for taking the time to come in. I want to thank the party for allowing you to have that time to visit us. Um, good luck and uh, we look forward to talking to you again at some future date. Thanks very much. That was Matt King, MP for Northland. I'm Mike Isle for KLTV. Thank you for watching.